we'll do, we're, we're going to start easy. Would you like to start easy? You don't want to start hard, do you? 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 No. We'll start easy. What we're going to do you? What we're, go what we're go going to do is draw the donut. The daily drawing donut. You like the donut? I like the donut. It's a good drawing lesson. Now we're going to start with a rounded a rectangle. Rounded rectangle. It's not an oval, is it? Oh no, children. If it were an oval, I'd say, oh look, it's an oval. And you'd know it's an oval. You see, we do lots of ovals. But no, it's a rounded rectangle. <laughs> Donuts make me smile, so I'll put a smile on my donut. And if I stand on my head, I am still smiling as the blood rushes to my head. So I'll put an upside down smile on the top of the big smile. I don't smile as big when I'm on my head. And that's how we get that. Torus shape. A torus. Not as in the boule, but a T O R U S is a donut. Now, to make it look like a donut, we need to add some of those delightful. <gasps> Did somebody say contour? Brilliant! Because you said contour, I'm going to give this class a happy face plus. Hooray! So, in the middle of your torus-shaped delightful donut treat, there will be a line that's pretty much straight up and down. But as I go around my dog nut here, those lines are going to bend outward, aren't they? And I'm going to follow the contour of the shape all the way around. Bend them more and more. Make them more bendy. Really, really bendy. They get really bendy when you get really bendy, and then they get less bendy. <laughs> I'm going to keep following that contour of my donut all the way around. By adding those contour lines, you indicate the shape. And it becomes a three, a dimensional. And you can take your torus donut shape and you can shade it. You, of course, want to use the side of the pencil. I have to use hash marks. And it's a rounded donut, so I'm not going to... Go past the middle. Oh no. With my delightful shading. Yeah. A nice round appearance. Delightful. And then, of course, you got to put some gloopy icing on it. Looks like white icing. I don't like the white icing. I like the chocolate. I like a good chocolate donut. And lemon? Ugh. Don't get me started on the lemon. Yuck. How about onion? Onion donuts are really quite good. Oh, you foolish children. Onions are sweet. Oh, yes, they are. Oh, oh children in your, your unimaginative palates. I used to love to dip marshmallows in French onion dip. You say that now, oh, yeah, it's good. Oh, yeah, baby. Have I ever told you anything that wasn't absolutely true? Okay, yes, I have. Because most of the things I tell you are not absolutely true. But you got to trust me on this one. Dipping your marshmallows in French onion dip is a unique taste experience. You just have to be creative. 
Yeah. Now, even my frosting has got some shading on it. A little bit of shadow underneath that. Ooh, the frog. Frosting. Yes, this book, this book is from the early 70s, and, and or maybe the late 70s, I don't know. And Mark Kistler well, was not the healthy eater that he is today. So there are a lot of, lot of, lot of treats in his drawings. There we go, the delightful donut with the gunk on it. Mmm, gunk. Gunk. Do you like of the gunk? Who, do, who doesn't like of the gunk? I mean, the gunk. It's, it's a gorgeous, goopy gunk, huh? <laughs> Last week's homework was the land of doors. The land of doors. Anybody draw me a land of doors? You did. May I see your land? Of doors, 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 doors. Ah, the land of doors, which has been transformed to a land of windows. Oh, look at the land of doors. I adore your doors. Your doors are adorable. Magnifico.